Sweet. Did you know the men's U.S. Olympic curling team won the bronze medal at the 2006 Olympic Games in Turin, Italy? Did You Know is sponsored by North Bay Marina. Thanks for watching Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Mike Parker. Well, if you've been watching the show over the past month or so, you've seen we've been bringing you plenty of waterfowl hunts and proof that it's been kind of an up and down season this year. Mostly down, I'd say mostly because of this warm winter weather we've been experiencing. I mean, it's the middle of February and it's 55 degrees. <laughs> what gives? Well, what gives for most hunters is that once January passes, the bulk of the waterfowl hunting is over anyway unless you're after snow geese. So that's why we're here this morning in Kent County, Maryland, donning these white Tyvek suits, looking at the sky to see what we can find. Hey guys, put one more down there and bring that other one over here. In a field illuminated by the headlights of several pickup trucks, Jerry Kaharski of Del Bay Guide Service is already hard at work. And the work of a professional waterfowl hunting guide can peak this time of year. Uh, we had about 5,000 birds here yesterday. We set a rig of about 1,000 shell decoys. And hopefully, they're going to come back here this morning and we're going to get on. The end of January also marks the end of the traditional duck and goose seasons. So attention turns to snow geese, the Arctic dwellers who love a winter vacation on Delmarva, finding rest on its many bodies of water and food in its many agricultural fields. It's no limit, unplug guns, ink collars, you know, virtually, you know, no laws, you know, except baiting. I mean, you can pretty much do anything and, you know, guys, you know, really get excited about having to plug out of the gun for some reason. Well, you know, this is a great hunt, especially for new hunters, because there's a lot of action, there's a lot of birds, there's a lot of trigger time. It's just great to get new people into the sport, which is what we're trying to do here. Now, hunting a bright white goose means blending in with bright white decoys. And from the air, well, these high flyers don't seem to notice the size difference between the spread and the full-grown men dressed in white Tyvek suits lying somewhat comfortably amongst them. Uh -oh. At least not until it's too late. And as you're about to see from both my camera and Bob's head cam, when a flock of thousands of snow geese form a massive moving cloud above us, it's the chance of a lifetime to unload and unleash. Get him, guys! With a flock that large, you'd expect a group of 11 hunters with plugs legally removed from their 12-gauge shotguns would drop more birds. Hey, guys. Maybe they should have. But at a distance of about 30 yards, these hardy birds still have a knack for escaping. Yeah, there, there's one over there on the hill, you see? And as both man and dog go on the retrieve, the first count, 12 birds, or about a one bird per man average. Could have shot a little better, but man, that was... You know, probably six, 8,000 birds just right straight over your head. I mean, you couldn't ask for it better. But yeah, it is fun hearing 40 shots go off. As the morning moves along, this spread catches the attention of a few pairs and a lone goose or two. And these shooters will have a few more opportunities to squeeze the trigger. I take them like that all day long. He's doing real, real good. <laughs> don't, don't lick the lens. <laughs> And he's just doing so good. Uh, and and to, they gave him the command, and he went out and got one, which was good. So, Champ, uh, the other, uh, 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 he's a Chesapeake retriever. He's much more experienced, so he's kind of a little bit more aggressive. But we're, we're getting there, and this is just a, a just a wonderful thing to do out here in nature. But after a few hours on our backs, hopeful moments of spotting distant birds become less likely to produce, and it becomes apparent that a huge flock of snows nearby is quite content to just graze in a field about a half mile away, with no more intention of flying in our direction. For the hunters, many of whom have migrated hours from the north themselves just for the chance, found it. And ironically, when it comes to snow geese, when it rains, it pours. Get outdoors, Coming 
Coming up next on Outdoors Del Marva, we've got a little more to show you from last week's big Eastern sports and outdoor show, and this time we'll cast for kids. Plus, you won't want to miss this week's Scorchies Corner Classic. You're watching Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. There are places on Virginia's eastern shore where the mode of life combines the past and the present. 